Two days after Sri Lanka's Easter Sunday bombings, none of the shock or grief has faded as the nation lays its dead to rest. We have a mass mass burial because in this small village, almost every house has one funeral. So we can't go on burying separately, individually. So tomorrow also we will uh, organize yeah. because there are so many bodies. Tuesday was declared a day of national mourning, with services taking place across the island nation and three minutes of silence in memory of the scores who died. The timing of the attacks couldn't have been worse. Churches were full during Easter services for Sri Lanka's Christian minority. Given the sheer death toll, there hasn't even been time to create proper identifying markers for each victim, leaving clergy to use a number system until better arrangements can be made. We want to uh, understand uh, who uh, is buried uh, in this place. According to the numbers, uh, we can explain uh, who are the people. So future, uh, we will help uh, those families uh, to uh, make uh, permanent crosses here. Condemnation against the bombers and support for Sri Lanka have poured in in equal measure though it'll likely be some time before the country can come to terms with the worst act of violence it's seen since the end of its civil war a decade ago.